The 8th edition of Indian Navy Marcos and US Navy SEAL Joint Special Forces exercise was conducted at Goa. The two forces engaged in various maritime special operations, and the exercise strengthened interoperability between the two naval forces. Kerala's chief minister has criticized Israel, and has urged Indian government to stop all defense purchases from the country. Gas turbine research establishment is looking for Indian industry partners for manufacturing 300 Manuk small turbofan engines, that will power the upcoming long-range land attack cruise missile. The Indian Army is procuring 2,500 general service vehicles, that will be used as load carriers for transporting troops cargo ammunition and other supplies. The US has invited India to place a naval officer in the 38-nation combined maritime forces in Bahrain, that will help India to improve its military ties with Gulf countries, and also provide information with developments in the US Central Command which extends to Pakistan. Indian Navy has released a request for information for the procurement of four 1,000-ton self-propelled fuel barges from Indian shipyards. The National Investigation Agency has submitted a charge sheet against seven highly educated and technically skilled individuals who are affiliated with ISIS, and were procuring chemicals for IED devices for attacks throughout India. They had even travelled across various states to pinpoint potential targets for their planned attacks. The Indian Air Force is all set to equip its Su-30 fighter jets with Israeli X-Guard fiber optic supersonic towed decoy, which is a retractable lightweight decoy that can defeat air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles, thus increasing the survivability of the aircraft. The decoy weighs 7 kilograms, and the pylon and wiring weighs 60 kilograms, and it can fly along with aircraft up to a speed of Mach 1.6, and can withstand the forces and acceleration of 9G. The decoy can be reused multiple times making it exceptionally cost-effective. Tato Advanced Systems had bought intellectual property rights of Grob G180 twin-engine composite jet, and it has now started work to convert it into a state-of-the-art unmanned aerial system for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions, that will have similar performance and operational characteristics like a high-altitude long-endurance drone. Armenia has signed a $41 million contract with India to acquire ZAD's anti-drone system from India's Zen Technologies, that is designed to detect and neutralize hostile drones by disrupting their communication with the ground control station. The deal includes the delivery of an unspecified number of ZAD's units and the maintenance and training of Armenian military personnel. The Hyderabad-based firm Zen Technologies will also open an office in Armenia to facilitate these operations. The TED-BF will have a groundbreaking level of commonality with the AMCA, as the TED-BF will adopt nearly 60% of the components and systems that are being developed for the AMCA program, as well as 70% of line replaceable units. Experts have said, that this high degree of commonality between the two programs will result in significant benefits, including reduced development costs, streamlined logistics, and enhanced maintenance efficiency. Today's top 3 comments.